just as I sat down, the train started going by. Anyway, welcome to my channel. I've been making more eating videos lately. I like this. I like to eat. I bet you do too. I also like to gain a little bit of weight. Okay. So, I went to Flash Foods, which is a chain of, of uh, convenience stores across the south. Maybe there's one in your part of the country. I don't know. I got a sausage biscuit. Sausage biscuit. Tarzan likes sausage biscuits. Plain sausage biscuit. So. And the only thing I have on this is pepper. I don't like a lot of unhealthy food usually. There's nothing wrong with this, you know, all in moderation. And here's a the drink I got. a confession. I'm a fraud. A fake. A phony. I made a, a video recently about Hardee's and I got it was a, for a sausage biscuit and a ham biscuit and I got it to the house and I was making the video and I opened up the biscuit and there was no bacon. This, the bacon biscuit had no bacon. <laughs> but I was felt so bad for Hardee's. I didn't want to make them look bad. So I pretended that, that there was bacon in the biscuit. So I'm very sorry for that. But I've confessed my sin by misleading you. I didn't know what to do in the moment I panicked. That, I used to go to Hardee's like once a month for many years when I was working, and even now. And I never had a problem with any kind of, with anything I got there. If I got a bacon biscuit, it had bacon in it, buccos de bacon, it was plenty. And they're great. And just because of one random event, I didn't want anybody to feel, you know, to feel sore at Hardy's. But uh, if you go back and look at the video, you may see I was a, a little surprised when I opened it up. And I said, oh, well, there the, there's the bacon. It's, it's right under there. My dear friends, there was no bacon. So, I've got that off my chest. I hope you won't be too upset with me. I did, I did follow up and confess it. But it's because I didn't want to make Hardee's look bad. Because I love Hardee's. And I never had any problem with anything I got there. But it was a new crew. And they were in training. I could tell that. I just had a bad feeling. So. I love Hardee's. In fact, I was thinking about making a video for the, about the, uh, the Hardee's roast beef sandwich. They just came out with them. I think it's a seasonal thing, a special. I had one years ago, and it was really good. I might do that. Yeah. 
yellow. I got mellow yellow today. Just, I normally drink some kind of iced tea or hot tea. But I wanted to try some different things, so I'm going to be having, making food videos. So this is mellow yellow. Back in the 80s, it was a commercial. The Greg Ken band. Greg Ken, he made a, a commercial for uh, for Mellow Yellow. He was one of their kind of spokesmen, as I remember. He had a couple of songs in the 80s. Our Love's in Jeopardy and, and Break Up Song. And my band used to do the Break Up Song. It's in the key of A minor, if you want to check it out. So... And the reason I chose Mellow Yellow, I mean, back in the 80s, I, when I was playing, I was trying to find something that had the most caffeine of any soft drink, of any drink, ice cold drink. And there was a, a survey that came out in U.S. News and World Report. They used to be a magazine. Now they're only online and have been for many years. U.S. News and World Report was my favorite magazine. My grandfather subscribed to it. It was very factual, just a good, basic, sensible magazine. I think my, I think my uncle subscribed to it too. My uncle Billy, I'm not sure. But it had a survey of the most caffeine-intensive drinks, and the Mellow Yellow was number one, as I recall. So when I was playing, whenever it was, whenever I was driving, back at night by myself, I would stop at a convenience store after I, right after I. We finished tearing everything down, that is the equipment, and I would buy a Mellow Yellow, and I would drink that on the way home, and that would help me supposedly keep awake, keep me awake. Well, one time it didn't work. I'd been working on the farm that weekend, my brother and my dad and I, and oh, the week before we'd had a computer conversion at work. And I was there till like 12, 1, or even 2 in the morning. And then that Friday, I, I had to get ready to go. I went to play the Friday night. Okay, fine. Got back Saturday morning early, like 2 or 3, I guess, maybe 2. Then Saturday, my brother and my dad and I were on the tractor, and we were going along the field, and we were picking up melons. You have a lot of vines in some fields, and once in a while you should pick up the melons because otherwise they'll burst open and, and they'll, they'll take up space in the field. You know, they'll just be a mess. So, anyway. Anyway, uh, I worked to the afternoon, then I came in, had dinner, showered, bathed, and everything. And, uh, drove to play about 60 miles away. I didn't go with the band this time. I usually we go together. I drove by myself and we played. But then Saturday night you had to tear everything everything down. So I tore it all down. I bought the stopped at stopped at the convenience store, bought my Mellow Yellow and then got almost home and I fell asleep. The car was going very slowly. I had a B210 Datsun hatchback. It was going very slowly. And I just turned to the right. And I kind of woke up. And I saw that the car was going off into the ditch. So I turned to the left and I overcorrected. And a car had just gone past me. So then I turned back and overcorrected and turned over. I came to a complete stop, and the car just gently turned over. If you ever had to have a wreck, that would be the one to have, because it was just so gentle. But I came to rest upside down, just a few, a few feet from a culvert, in front of a culvert. It would have been bad if I'd hit the culvert. So then, happened next. I was upside down, had my seatbelt on, of course. So I 
I undid the seat belt and I fell on my head on the seat and I had the presence of mind. The first thing that I thought of was I have to turn the engine off, which I did. I turned it off, I think, while I, while I was upside down. So I landed on my head. It's not really funny. Okay, got out of the car and I walked to a, a phone booth somewhere. We still had a lot of phone booths in the 80s. So I, I called a, a record, record company and somebody got a ride home. He gave me a ride up to the farm. I'm trying to recall this. So I had a Day the next day, actually, with the school teacher, and anyway, that was Sunday morning. And then mom and dad and brother, and I tried to mention as casually as I could, without it being a big deal, which of course it was. Anyway, somebody from the station came out that day, and they went to the where I turned the car over. And he turned it back up on its side. And he took a sledgehammer. The top of the car, the roof was caved in some. So he took a sledgehammer and smashed the, the roof up like that with a sledgehammer. So I got back on the road and I kept my date with that girl, with that school teacher, which, by the way, that relationship went nowhere and she was even quieter than I am so I I, I drove the car to to work for a while for a few days and I and I got another car I bought a, a Toyota Tercel Toyota Tercel hatchback another small car okay I digress so that's this, I went from from telling you about Mel Yellow to Greg Keenan to the caffeine to the accident. All right, and I was kind of sore for a while, my head, my arm, for a few days, but I was okay. This being the first Mel Yellow I've had in many years. After my accident, I decided there was no substitute. For good judgment. Try not to overdo it at work on the farm and then playing in the weekend. No. Okay. I'm going to put this on my plate. Right. To get into it before it, be, before it gets cold. Put my pepper. I'm a pepper too. I'm a pepper, you're a pepper. That was a, another commercial from the 70s. Uh, Dr. Pepper. I'm a pepper, you're a pepper. Cut off some of the bread around the edges. I like their bread. I like all bread, but it's too much. And this does have the actual sausage. Oh, Let's see. experimenting with my Yeti and my setup. So I've learned to put something under the microphone and then it's not so, it doesn't sound so abrasive if I hit something, the same thing with a, a plate, put it on a 
a napkin or, or a cloth. Maybe later I'll get a nice looking cloth or a nice little napkin or maybe even a spread for the table. Yes, on my channel, we go first class. save my talking till after I eat. But it's still it's too hard, it's good. Mm. I came for physical therapy this morning. It was my third visit, I think for my arm. Maybe someday I'll talk about that for those of you who have not been to physical therapy. And I hope you'll never have to. Never have to. Good mellow yellow was. There was also a song from the sixties called Mellow Yellow. I just recall that. I think it was Mellow Yellow. Yes. The singer was Donovan. They call it mellow yellow. Quite right, quite right. Mellow yellow. Isn't that funny? Mellow yellow. I don't recall if they used that song for the for the drink mellow yellow for the brand. I don't recall it that. Maybe Donovan didn't want to let them. Musician trying to make it. I think you deserve to, any kind of money that you can get. And that also goes for artists, and writers, singers, anyone in the arts, because you're taking a risk, but the risk is on you. You know, if you see you're not going to make it, if you don't have the talent or the luck, then you need to do something else. Don't go through life trying to do something that's not that's not really paying off. Try it for a while, but don't depend on it if it's not making it for you. So young people, there's my silly 
advice and wisdom for the day. show you this. Really good. Caution. Contents extremely cold. I guess the lawyers told them to put that on there. Just an advertising thing, a marketing thing. Of course, it's cool. see me get a small drink. You don't need a lot of, you know, you need to, to watch your nutrition. So I nearly always get a small drink. This is already there. Why do people do this? It's just a habit. You're not going to make it any colder, I guess, to stir up the contents. It's all very psychological. That's it.
I don't know. today's fruit food foray to the local convenience store or we enjoyed a sausage biscuit and mellow yellow and hope you enjoyed my story and also my pseudo advice and wisdom so this is Trip and I hope you will subscribe Hope you will watch videos as much as you can, and I will see you next time. Peace out.